So this morning I spent some time organizing our pantry as well as our cabinets because y'all it was an absolute mess okay a mess. Y'all, and I found so many things that I had in here, but ended up buying because I did not realize that I had them. I'm trying to figure out how can I like remember what I have? <laughs> like, do I like create a list right here and like mark it off as I take it out? I just feel like that might be too much, but I don't know how to keep track of everything that I have. I woke up wanting blueberry and lemon pancakes, so I am making just that. Y'all, what I love most about my pancake recipe is that one, it is so fluffy, and two, it does not require an egg, of course, but I feel like most of the times when you see pancake recipes, like you have to use an egg to get like that fluffy factor, and believe me, you don't have to. You don't have to. Also, another really quick tip, I like to use brown sugar or a brown sugar substitute in my pancakes over white sugar. I don't know why, I just feel like it kind of changes the taste completely. Y'all, and how cute is this pancake batter? I had no intention of it turning out like this, but I'm so glad it did because I like my food to look pretty. So I didn't think that I needed to kind of record this entire process and give like too much details. Y'all, I have made scrambles probably in every single video that I have. It's really just a bunch of vegetables, seasonings, and all that good stuff. But I have all of that in other videos as well. And normally I don't add like tofu to my scrambles if I'm using just egg, but I just wanted some more protein in this meal. This was my first time making pickled onions, y'all. I was so excited because when once everything like finished and it set for as long as it needed to set, like it, these were so, so good. They also weren't like too 
vinegar re I don't know if that's a word or if we can even use that as a word but I'm gonna use it it, it wasn't like too vinegary like I've had um some pickled onions that were just like entire like too tangy but these were perfect I also made a batch of my vegan ranch y'all this ranch is absolutely amazing i swear like once you make it at home you probably won't buy vegan ranch from the grocery store And I do have a recipe for this. You can use it with vegan mayo, which is what I'm using now, or you can use it with cashews. And so I have both of these recipes on my website. Y'all have seen me talk about seaweed in previous videos. Y'all, I love seaweed so, so much. It's like a really good snack. It's like in between like wanting something savory because of like the saltiness, but then also like crispy because it's like a dried seaweed sheet. Like it's just so good. I think I've made buffalo chickpeas on like in a previous video, but buffalo chickpeas are like one of those really good like items that you can make that you can kind of pair with anything. So I'm making a batch of the buffalo chickpeas with buffalo sauce and make sure it's a dairy free buffalo sauce and I'm going to save it. So I'm going to use it for this wrap, but then you'll also see me use it in another meal a little later. And I always add a good amount of vegetable broth as well as a good amount of the liquid that I'm using um, well the sauce that I'm using and so this time it's the buffalo sauce but I really find that when you add vegetable broth to whatever sauce it is that you're cooking the chickpeas in like it helps them not be as dry so that's the reason why I always add vegetable broth to my uh, chickpeas Now my onions weren't all the way finished yet. Like they still needed to sit in the fridge a little bit longer, but I wanted to use them in this wrap. So that's what I did. So here is the finished wrap. It looks so good. I'm about to roll this bad boy up and eat lunch. Okay, so I'm grabbing coffee from this super cute place called Well Met Cafe here in Arkansas. I'm actually meeting somebody for, um, it'd be really awkward if this is her, but I'm actually meeting somebody for coffee. We're just gonna quickly connect and I just wanted to show you guys because the place is so cute.
remember those chickpeas that I made? They are about to come in handy for my midday snack. I just have some crisp bread that I added some avocado to, as well as those chickpeas. The pickle beets that I ended up buying, y'all, when I bought them, I had no idea what I would use them for, but listen, we are gonna get creative and find ways to use it. And then I'm gonna top this with some everything but the bagel seasoning. Y'all, this was, first of all, it was so pretty. Second of all, it tasted amazing. So this Rice crispy looking stuff is actually textured vegetable protein. It is a soy product. Um, it's essentially made from soy flour. It's defatted, dehydrated, all that good stuff. And I like to use this whenever I want to make my own vegan meat at home. Um, although TVP is processed, it doesn't have a lot of the extra um, ingredients that you would typically find in like a vegan meat that you buy from the store. So I'm using TVP, I also minced up some mushrooms, as you see here, make those very, very fine. And y'all, this TVP, it's like soggy, if you know, like soggy Rice Krispies, soggy Fruity Pebbles, like that's kind of how this all felt. I am going to cook all of that up with some onions, green bell peppers, as well as shallots. I'm going to brown these, and then I'm gonna add in the mushrooms and the TVP. And because the TVP does not have a lot of flavor, like it, it was actually kind of weird. Like while the TVP was dehydrating in the hot water, it gave off like a really savory aroma in the house. Like I was actually very shocked because I don't remember smelling that before, but it actually smelled really good. But anyway, so you have to like season this up really well because it does not have a flavor. So, you know, it'll take on whatever seasonings, marinade, uh, whatever it is that you want to add to the TVP. setting some of this aside because I want to get a really good photo tomorrow for my blog and my Instagram account. So I'm gonna set some aside because I'm gonna go ahead and mix in all the noodles with the rest of this pasta, but I need a good amount for the photos. I think that's good right there. I am going to sprinkle in some nutritional yeast. I'm gonna top it with this dairy-free ricotta. Good morning, beautiful people. I wanted some breakfast that was like very comforting, warming. I think I'm gonna make some oatmeal, put like some fruit in there, make it like, just taste real good. So let's get started.
So I probably cook oatmeal like once a week or once every other week. And every time I do it, I try to make sure it's different because oatmeal can get very like routine and kind of blah. So I've done it with apples and cinnamon. I did it with peanut butter, banana and chocolate chips and it was so good. But this time I am doing berries. I'm going to um, simmer some berries in a little bit of sweetener as well as some water. Y'all, this is so freaking good. I actually went back and sprinkled a little bit more of like that brown sugar substitute on top of it because it needed to just be a little bit more sweet. But y'all, so freaking good. I told y'all. Y'all, so I didn't realize how much of a snacker <laughs> I was until I started recording what I ate in a day and in a week. And I really love like little snack plates and charcuterie plates and all that cute little good stuff um, so I decided to make myself one today I have some raspberries some cucumbers tomatoes also the brahmi beans that you guys saw me buy when I went to that cafe added in some vegan deli slices and hummus Right, so I decided that for lunch today I really want like I was just craving like a loaded baked potato but I think I'm gonna do a, a loaded sweet potato I guess a loaded baked sweet potato all right so as you can see poked a bunch of little holes in the sweet potato and so I am going to bake this I'm baking it on 400 degrees for about 45 minutes I know I've been loving these. I'm actually about to make the mushroom bacon marinade in here. It's about a tablespoon of olive oil. So we use some agave, then about a tablespoon of agave. Adding in some coconut aminos. Like I said, that's about two tablespoons. Normally I would use about one teaspoon uh, liquid smoke, but I am all out. This is the liquid smoke that I use. A half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Now I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of garlic powder. There we go. And then I'm gonna add in some nutritional yeast. I'm probably gonna do two teaspoons. Now some black pepper and some salt. just a little bit of olive oil, not too much because we put a good amount in the marinade. excited because I have not had a loaded baked potato and y'all I don't know how long y'all look at this it looks so good Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> 